Hi, welcome again to my channel and we are learning JSP and Subdate Beginner to Advanced Tutorial. We already completed uh, almost 11 videos. If you didn't watch those videos, just uh, go back to my channel and uh, check out JSP and Subdate Tutorial playlist. And uh, if you are new on my channel, so please do subscribe on my channel and turn on notification to get notification once I upload new video. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, session tracking, the session management. Actually, this is very important in a web application or any other application to track user session. Uh, using that session, we can do many things. We can um, give user authorization. We can uh, rewrite a URL. We can uh, manage our cookies and uh, many things so in this video just uh, i'm uh, going to talk about only user authorization so if you want to learn more about uh, session tracking just you can uh, uh, download uh, these books uh, or really java and sublet programming and uh, here the chapter 7 is uh, session tracking actually this uh, books is very helpful and uh, uh, here uh, they declared uh, almost everything about session uh, tracking and session management uh, here you can see user authorization hidden form fields url rewriting persistent cookies and the session tracking apis so in, in this tutorial i am going to cover user authorization and uh, uh, user cookies i will uh, show in next video but uh, in this two topic i will uh, show when we go for advanced project so let's uh, go back to my NetBeans ID and uh, here you can see this is our old project. I use a JSP tutorial. Uh, before um, uh, starting, let me give you some description about a HTTP session. Maybe if you didn't watch a uh, previous video, um, uh, you can check this out. And there I already uh, describe about HTTP. And there I told that HTTP is a stateless protocol. And uh, what does it mean? That means um, for a web service, um, every request um, is a new request to process and uh, they cannot identify if it's coming from client that has been sending request previously. So that's about a, sta a stateless protocol. Actually, session is a conversional state between a client and server, and uh, it can uh, consist of multiple requests and response between client and server. So uh, let uh, let me do some work in here. So first of all, uh, in our uh, servlet, just to go back to our servlet, here is a registration servlet here. We declared a session variable in HTTP session and request dot get session and we set that attribute and we use this attribute in our user data page. So here we want to uh, give user authorization. User authorization, that means if there is no user, then uh, user can't uh, access this page. So that's why here I'm going to set a condition if user uh, equal to null. So what we are going to do, we are going to response dot response dot uh, send redirect. We are uh, sending him back to our JSP page. I mean index dot JSP page index dot JSP page. What is seen in last video when we are accessing that user database we are getting some error but in this video we are going to see that when we are going to access the user data dot jsp page uh, we are uh, going back to our index dot jsp page okay let's uh, check it out and uh, run this project so this is first time i'm running this project it will take few moments Okay, all right, our project has been uh, run successfully. Oh, we already in our index.jsp uh, page. So if you are going to access our user dot, uh, user data dot JSP page, just then we will uh, redirect us to our index dot JSP page. That uh, page are going to redirect us to index dot JSP because we don't have any session value. We don't have any user data in our session value that's why it's happening so uh, in this way we can authorize our page that uh, we can uh, uh, prevent uh, accessing publicly to a particular page 
so that is a session authorization and uh, uh, we want to we, using this session we can uh, access user login and registration so let's uh, check that uh, action so this this means we are logging or registering user so give some value here so yeah i have some uh, dummy value using cookies that's why it's giving so so student and submit so now you can see that uh, we are uh, in our user data dot gsp page because uh, we have now we have the session property and we have the data in our session property okay now it's the uh, time to invalidate our session that means we are um, throwing our session to from the server so let's uh, go back to here and uh, create a link so type i'm doing this here text left or not text right text right and here i'm giving a s3 value so it will take a little bigger yeah so you know that here we already used to bootstrap so here we perform logout value so logout just uh, go back to our page and refresh it so you can see that we have a logout here so we can add some margin here mm, class uh, margin 5 or my 5 oh, shit. sorry this should be mx property so here you can see that our uh, logout property so when we will click on that we will invalidate our user session so how to do that for that we need to create a servlet so just to go back to a source package and uh, here we create uh, invalidate session or uh, you can name it anything here so invalid next and add information to deployment descriptor okay we are done so just uh, let's go back to our user data.jsp page and here i am going to link our sublet so basically when we click on logout button so it will go back to it will send us to invalidate session.js dead uh, java file so here we first of all we need to access our session so how to access that so in our user jsp page you can see that we we use that session dot get attribute and this is a user type yeah you got that so so do that uh, user http http session session equal to request dot request dot uh, get session and session dot so uh, first of all uh, we need to import our session here so then session session dot uh, you can see that we have a property remove so session dot remove attribute and what is your attribute name attribute name is user so you can uh, get that so this is our attribute name user so we get that attribute name and now we are going to invalidate our session session dot invalidate so after invalidate we are going to we are going back to our index.jsp base response dot send redirect to our index dot jsp base so index dot jsp base so that's uh, all uh, done for this uh, session invalidation i mean user unauthorization so let's uh, go back to our project and uh, run it again because uh, we change it in our servlet so just uh, check uh, some uh, dummy value and choose a student and submit so here we get our information and just click on logout so you can see that it's uh, send us to index not just but here is some issue so if you click on back button so it's uh, sent back us to our user.jsp but we can prevent that how we can prevent that uh, that will show in show you in next video so that is uh, 
the the session has been invalidated it's okay but uh, that's happening for our cookies or cache in our browser so browser uh, is storing our cache value that's why it's happening so in next video we will see how we can prevent this so in see you in next video and uh, if you are new on my channel so please do subscribe and uh, if you think this video is helpful do a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends so see you in next video.